DBS is a great therapy. We know that a vast majority of patients um, has an excellent therapeutic response to deep brain stimulation. But minimal deviations in electrode positioning, a minimal variability which is unavoidable with this technique, minimal variations can cause relatively large variations in outcome. What is new about the directional system is that conventionally we had one shot to place the electrode in the optimal space inside the brain. And with a directional system, we will have the opportunity to compensate for that post-operatively. I think that's the main advantage. A conventional DBS system is using electrodes with a ring shape. And this ring shape is creating an approximately spherical electrical field around the electrode. And one can only change the dimensions of the sphere, but one cannot change uh, the shape of uh, the area that is being stimulated. And that is now possible uh, with the combination of a segmented electrode together with multiple independent current source technology so that um, one has the choice of either providing an electrical sphere or having a kind of a lighthouse effect uh, so that one can beam current into particular directions, for example, away from um, areas that provide side effects. We have implanted now three patients with directional lead systems. All of these patients were patients with Parkinson's disease, um, but in two different targets. Two patients were implanted in the subthalamic nucleus and one patient in the VIM for a severe Parkinsonian tremor. All patients um, tolerated the surgery well. And in all of these patients, we uh, have been able to demonstrate that steering has a profound impact on the um, threshold for side effects which means that um, it works. One can direct current away, for example, from the uh, pyramidal tract to avoid contractions or dysarthria. And in the end, um, all patients so far uh, were programmed in the directional mode because uh, there were certain advantages in the risk-benefit assessment of these patients to use uh, steering mode over ring mode. Many patients with movement disorders feel that they may not be eligible for the surgery, either because they personally feel that their symptoms are not severe enough compared to others or because they are afraid of the risks of the surgery. And I think both impressions need to be corrected. First of all, this is a relatively safe surgery. It has minimal risks during the surgery and the risks of stimulation associated side effects can uh, be minimized within the directional system that we have now available. Mm -hmm.